The Motueku River is an iconic New Zealand waterway and for the past 10 years it's been the focus of an intensive study by scientists. The goal of the Integrated Catchment Management or ICM program has been to gain better information to more effectively manage the land, water and coastal environments in catchments where there are many and potentially conflicting land uses and to do so in a way that we understand both the complex way a catchment works and the way people work within it. Conflicts and perceptions of such things as water allocation or worsening water quality mean we need to find new ways to manage our land, water and coasts in an integrated way and to do this collaboratively. Uh, the Mihi, a statement of heritage that clearly places the individual within the landscape, defined not only by ancestor, but by mountain, maunga and river, awa, Māori are charged with stewardship or kaitiakitanga of the land on behalf of future generations. Barney Thomas of Tiakina Te Taio explains. Tiakina Te Taio, I'm the chairman of, and there are six entities in there. We've got uh, Ngāti Kwata, Ngāti Tama, uh, Te Atiawa, Ngāti Rārua, and then we have the Ahi Kā from Motueka, Ngāti Rārua Atiawa Iwi Trust and Wakatū Incorporation. So those entities make up Te Akina Te Taio, and the responsibilities for Te Akina Te Taio are kaitiakitanga, um, looking, at, uh, looking after the environment, um, ensuring that the environment, uh, there's a legacy uh, to be left for our, our children that um, are going to grow up and fill into those, those roles as kaitiaki. The intention of the Motueka ICM program was to grow the capacity of local Māori to exercise kaitiakitanga by developing tools in collaboration with participating scientists. But first, strong foundational relationships needed to be established. Actually it's a bit like, a bit like our whare really. I mean you have to have a solid foundation. And it's about building those relationships and being honest uh, and, and having integrity uh, built into that. Because, I mean, if, if the foundation isn't solid, as we continue on our journey, it could likely become shaky. But for us, we've, we've found that we've had a solid foundation. Uh, we've been honest with one another. Our communication's been good. The relationship's built. And um, together, we've, we have appreciated one another's values. My, my role as a senior Māori scientist within Manaki Whenua has been to build a bridge between Western science and the Māori world view. And um, we've, we've been here now 10 years and the, and the first um, time we came down here it was very, very important to build a strong relationship and as Barney was saying about building that, that solid foundation first before we could go forward together. And so it really has been a partnership between us on the Western science side and then working on the Māori science and the iwi research side. And bringing up the term integrated catchment management, it actually sits very comfortably with Māori philosophy because Māori always think within that uh, bigger uh, picture in terms of all the connections um, with the environment and how the land is connected to the river and how the river is connected to the coast and the marine environment. So ICM was actually a concept that was brought in and it sat comfortably already with a Māori knowledge system and Māori philosophy. The programme provided many opportunities to share and develop more effective knowledge for environmental management. And so uh, Garth introduced things like GIS, the GIS system, uh, to us. We, there are also opportunities for uh, different uh, forums for us to participate in. And I, I must say that every forum we were considered at the start in the planning processes. So we felt we, we, we had buy-in, uh, we had ownership. One of the tools developed during the program is the Cultural Health Index for Rivers. Adapted from work done by Naitahu's Galtipa, it's a way for iwi to articulate and express their values about how the state of the waterways reflect how the catchment is changing through time. We have this Atua Kaitiaki framework which is really the, um, we use six or seven main atua, departmental atua or domain atua. So there's like Tane Mahuta, 
tangaroa, those those the atuas, and um, we, we we built it around that sort of framework because a lot of our um, resource management work has that framework within it. So we took Gail's work and we put it within that, and we were also through that we were able to identify some gaps where some atua weren't being acknowledged or weren't being asked quick questions, and so that's how we that's how we've really changed the model. Designed right from the beginning to be inputted directly into the GIS system, data can now be collated from one year to the next. Partners in the, that, that we have been working with have been um, Cawthron Institute, um, Landcare Research and more recently with Tasman District Council. So they've been coming out occasionally um, with the monitoring crew and seeing what they're um, up to and also um, there's been a few times where uh, where iwi have actually gone out and had a look at um, new tools or what what the um, scientists have been um, up to as well and the you know the conversations around all of that and the understanding I think that's grown to um, yeah a great extent. The cultural monitoring team share some of their wisdom and experiences and how the ICM program has enhanced their role as kaitiaki. We have different skills. There's fisheries kaitiaki. There's rongoa kaitiaki. There's uh, water, there's all sorts of kaitiaki in our group and our skills. So when we're called upon for our specific skill, we apply it and the others learn from that as well. So we learn as much as we give and that's why we bring all the people we can with our komatu, as has been stated, Akuya, our young people, bring them out for a day like this and they see what we do and they understand why we do it. So that helps us to pass on our knowledge, which is kaitiaki tanga. As one of the Taino, I follow the lead of our tūkana. Well, couldn't, the job can't be done without the support of Tuakana, Komatu, Na Iwi. We bring that, 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 that long term view. Mm. Uh, our kids will be here after us and, and their kids, so it's a, we, we carry it on. Yes. We don't stop at the paper is finished. Yes, we're, not, we're not here yeah. to, um, till the end of our term, we're here for the end of our people. Our people here forever. And we want other people to think, and, and don't get me wrong, there are a lot of Europeans that, that are on board with us too. Um, and they pick it up, I mean they eat the cockles, they eat the fish heads, they, you know, they eat all those things, they eat the uh, tuna. And you know, I mean, the more people we get on the better, because so, they're going to look after an environment. Um, with the, the programme, it's transferable to any mm. area of, of Aotearoa. And that's basically how we got it from Gale, and we modified it and to fit us and we could quite gladly take it to other areas of the whenua and give it to those people and they can modify it to suit them and their results mm. will be mm. the same and, and the learning, the capacity for sharing and bringing their whenua, their wetlands or rivers back to good health yeah. is there. Yes, we work with people who, whose minds have been closed yeah. and, they, and they fall all the way until once they got here and, and, and worked minutes. with us, they, they, they've changed. Yeah and their views have changed. Mm. So it's not just working with us, it's also working with other people. The tool is great for every, and I can see it working on, on my dad's lands up in Kahununi, which is where I hope to um, go and exercise it there in the near future with our people there, and uh, I know they'll grab it with both hands. And the thing is, that healthy river, healthy people. And I mean, that's in a nutshell. Yeah, right. So, you know, you got to keep the rivers healthy, you'll keep your people healthy. Because our experience of, of uh, having uh, rivers changed on us, wetlands uh, drained, uh, all legislation that's impacted on us, and we've never been able to voice our, our opposition, our opinion clearly enough to have them actually understand us, well this project has given us that scientific bite mm -hmm. that adds to what we've been saying. And now, thankfully, we are starting to be listened to by the bureaucrats, by those in power, and uh, they're coming to our, our world view, mm. which is very dissimilar, not dissimilar to theirs, mm. when they stop and think about it. So, Well, you can be a kaitiaki, you can be a couch potato, or you can be a, a, a... This can be your couch here. You can sit back, do the mahi, do the work, and then you can sit back on one of those tables over there and over a cup of tea on a barbecue and you can look back at what, what you've done 
that, that that's the rewarding part is when you can look back and you see what you've done and it gives you a good feeling in the puku, in the heart. Yeah, tupuna, they were raised in a time when, when, when in their lifetime North they could see loss, um, everything deteriorate, having no ability to act or, or, or to restore. Um, our generation, they, they kept the battle up no matter what, all the way yeah. for, our, for us, the future. And this is why we're here for our future of our people. And um, now we have a tool which we can use to help us bring back what was lost. Building on the development of the Iwi River Health Monitoring Tool, Tasman District Council wants to roll this program out over different river types. This information can then be used in the developing Tasman Resource Management Plan, which aims to schedule each waterway's uses and values. Trevor James of the Tasman District Council explains. Through this process we had a better communication, a tool for communicating better uh, our mutual appreciation of these resources, but also um, their unique uh, values that as a council we need to better uh, acknowledge, recognise and um, to, to, to manage. We need very specific information about specific places and the specific values associated with those places. Once we know that information, we can then uh, uh, put that in the plan and everybody knows right up front uh, what these values are so that if there's a resource consent application, for example, or a planning variation, that that information can be established right at the start rather than leading to um, having to go to the environment court. As the program comes to a close, Garth and Barney share some of their thoughts about what the integrated catchment management program has meant to them and the legacy it leaves. Just a whakatauki that I remember when we first came down and um, we often give it at the marae on the, on the pai pai and that's um, tuia i runga, tuia i raro, uh, tuia i itihiringa tangata which is about um, the, the weaving together, the interconnection of, of, of people binding together, so it's talking about binding over the top, binding below and then binding together the people. And that's really important I think in the catchment and it's talking about connecting people but it's also talking about all the connections in the, in the catchment itself. So for us in this rohe and I'm, I'm sure it's the same in other rohe, but our rivers, our streams um, are the blood vessels of Papa Tuanuku. And so we want the blood vessels of Papa Tuanuku to be as healthy as possible. While the blood vessels are healthy, so too is the whenua. So for us, Ranginui and Papa Tuanuku are, are the, the parental um, guardians and from their uri, Tani Mahuta, Tangaro, Tafiri Matia, Tuma Tawinga, all of those gods, they all come together and um, contribute to the health and wealth of our environment, to Taiyao. And so that, that sort of journey we've been on together, I think, I think we've, um, we've developed some good tools here that we can look back on now, and um, those tools are relevant right throughout the whole country. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I think uh, with the knowledge that we have and the tools that you've introduced, uh, that's been able to help not only our, uh, our passing on of the, the knowledge, but it's also been able to help our capacity, our capability, um, our presentation skills, and in just being um, able to build uh, that capacity through our uh, younger ones that are coming on. And so leaving that, that uh, mātauranga, that knowledge for them, has been awesome. And I think that uh, right throughout the country, uh, this uh, form of project uh, would be beneficial for, for many, many iwi uh, and hapu. Yeah, I agree with that.